Greetings, this is Shane Ross and this tutorial will show you how to get a section of cut footage from one sequence to another. To start out, I have a couple of sequences here that are part of a rough cut from a TV show. But after watching the rough cut, we realize that a pretty big restructuring is needed for the show to be better. So I need to grab full sections from these acts, certain scenes, and place them in a different order. I even need to cut scenes from two different acts and place them in a new timeline. Now there are two ways to do this. The first way is to grab your sequence right here from the browser and drag it into your viewer. Doing this will cause the sequence to disappear from the timeline. Final Cut Pro, as you know, can open up multiple sequences down here. But once you load it from the browser to the viewer, it goes away from down here. So you can mark in and out and you can see visually what you're doing, but you can't see pretty much like the timeline section down here. So you can mark an in, I'm going to go from there, out, to there, and then you go to your new sequence. And then if you just press F10, you'll note that it doesn't show up as a whole bunch of clips like you had originally, but it shows up as one clip. Well, this isn't a single clip. This is actually a nest. What you've done is taken this little section and in copying over, you've nested that sequence. Well, I don't want to do that. I don't want to nest. What I would like to do is I'd like to bring over the entire sequence with all the clips intact. So to do that, you press the command key plus F10, and that will bring over all of the clips that you have. This also works if you press the command key and drag over here, or the command key and drag down here. This is what's called overwrite with sequence content, and you can map this to your keyboard. All you need to do is go to your tools, Keyboard Layout, Customize, and then over here you go Sequence Content, and you see Insert with Sequence Content and Overwrite with Sequence Content. All you need to do is unlock this, and you can drag these over to these options right here, so you don't need to hold down the Command key and press F10. You can just press F10 and you're done. Okay, now let's look at the second way to do this. All right, let's load this sequence back up. Okay, the other way you can do this, now you might want to highlight your footage like this and copy it, but then what that does is it tends to grab other things outside the range you want. Okay, let's go right from uh, here. Let's go from here, and I want to go out on his face right there. Out. I want just this section. All the footage you can see highlighted right here. I do not want anything outside that. So if I just dragged like this, as you will note, I have some footage here that's outside the limits of what I wanted. And if I had more layering going on here of sound effects and stuff like that, I still would have stuff outside the area that I want. Well, yes, I can copy and then I can go over here and let's delete all this stuff and paste. As you can see, it brought over all the other stuff that I didn't want. So I'm gonna undo that. Okay, I'm going to show you the way I prefer to do it because it's really cool. Um, if you just go to the point you want and mark an in and mark an out and then copy, you then go to the new assembly and then you paste it. And it will paste only those sections you copied. Now what's really cool about this, let me go to a different sequence, is that let's just say I want half of a clip. I want the second half of a clip. I want, say, from there to there. And I only want halfway through that clip and halfway through that clip. Well, I hit copy, and I go back here, and I hit paste. And it goes halfway through the clips I want. Okay, but let's say you want to put something in between these two sections you have. You want to add something before this section right here. So what we need to do is we need to go to the head of that section right there. And this is pretty easy. You can still use copy and paste. So let's go back to the sequence and let's find a spot. Let's go from there to say there. And we hit copy. And let's go back over here. And instead of hitting command V, I hit shift V. That does an insert paste. Just like an insert edit does an insert edit, Insert Paste will shove everything out of the way. Okay, one thing to note is that these auto select buttons determine what comes over. So if we go back here and we deselect a couple of items right there, you'll note that they no longer become highlighted. So when you do a copy and go over here and do a paste, it copied and pasted only the selections that the auto select buttons were highlighted for. I did not copy over the music. So this way you can isolate what you want to copy and what you want to leave behind. 
This is the power of Final Cut Pro's ability to have multiple sequences open at the same time. You can click between the sequences, scroll through the footage you want to have, mark an in and mark an out, and then copy and paste into the new sequence instead of having to drag up here, not being able to see what you are doing, and then possibly nesting what you bring over. That does it for this tutorial. Now get back to work.